I was drawn to this project because of its difficulty, because there is a lot of religious sensibilities. This challenge combined with this uh, idea of modern day fresco, like a ceiling, something like the Sistine Chapel, that tells a story of unity instead of single religious story. For me, it was uh, an exciting challenge. We wanted to have a one space that you really can experience the religions. You can experience not only your religion, but to find yourself in the other religions. We were looking for a way to represent the, the diversity and the richness of three religions, the monotheistic religions in Jerusalem. We found these kind of themes. Most of them have to do something with nature, with the, with the seasons and with the specific geography of the city. But it was not only about me and David, it's also sharing this project with so many people, with all the people actually that, that put their voice and put their heart in this project. It was surprising how accepting and open they were. It was encouraging to see that people are looking for common grounds. I imagined how I see the connections between the religions and I made a map of things that can be connected. We found these motifs like water, stone, fire, oil, palm branches that appear in different rituals in Judaism, Christianity and Islam. I was looking for this kind of a visual metaphor for the uniting energy, this kind of movement that exists in the three religions. And the solution was to merge the images, kind of blur them together and create brush strokes that uh, they have different energy and rhythm and direction and they kind of blend the still images together. <laughs> We recorded most of the music in the studio because we wanted to control the sound in the space and because we knew from the beginning that we want to merge the sound, to merge the poems and the prayers to one prayer, to one song. When I collected the prayers, I understood how much it's similar one to each other. You can find the same pasuk, the same sentences you find in the Judaism, you can find in Christianity and Islam. As a traditional Jew, I know what is important for me, but it was so important for me to understand deeply what is important for, for other religious people. Through art, you cannot delete the reality, you cannot beautify the reality, but you can give a different perspective of the reality. Usually we hear about the tension between the religions in Jerusalem, but daily life, you can feel this kind of uniting energy of daily worship and acknowledging that is a way of bringing people together and showing the similarity between the different uh, beliefs and the temperaments and I think there's hope there. <laughs> Jerusalem.